coming up. Pro bowlers, including reigning PBA Player of the Year, E.J. Tackett, as well as 2023 USBC Queens champion, Lindsey Boomershine. Join some talented teams on the lanes for a very special event. The PBA Junior National Championship Finals starts now on FS1. We welcome you to Bolero North Rock in Wichita, Kansas for the PBA Junior Finals. National Championships are at stake today featuring some of the best future talent. And that future starts right now. High schoolers competing for scholarship money. Here is our lineup. These competitors on the junior side started playing regionals this past summer. It'll be Gianna Brandolino against a familiar face this event. Kayla Starr coming up in the girls' final. Dimitri Richardson against the cool cat from California, Ernesto Reynoso. And then these juniors will pair up with the pros. Yeah, we've got E.J. Tackett on this show. A.J. Johnson, Valerie Bersier, Lindsey Boomershine. A loaded field for you in the Junior National Championship Finals. As we welcome you to our desk, everybody, I'm John Fanta. My partner is Randy Peterson in year 25 at the table covering the PBA. What's this event mean? I mean, it means so much for the sport. It's like the future of bowling. Anytime you can get the best talent on the junior side in the nation on television, I mean, it makes for special stuff, right? And they get to be paired with some of the top professionals in the world. But I think the coolest thing, John, is that these kids get to experience what it's like to be a professional bowler for a couple of hours, right? And then not only that, they get paired with pros that they can learn stuff from, they can mimic. Uh, we already see the two-handed styles uh, already with these these youth bowlers. It's just It just makes for a great, great show and a great time for all. These kids had to do so much to get here. They were in regional qualifiers over the summer, five different regionals, and then Starting this week, 10 boys, 10 girls arrived. It got down to a step ladder yesterday after one qualified to the finals, and here we are today. Let's get to our boys' final first. Now, Dimitri Richardson of Denver's on one side. On the other, meet Ernesto Reynoso of Folsom, California. This dude is an athletic stud. Now, he plays hoops. Uh, yeah, he scored 30 points in a high school game as a shooting guard. He also loves snowboarding, and he said, yes, I have suffered concussions doing tricks on snowboards. But don't let his athleticism fool you. He's a smart kid, very impressive, carries a 4.0 GPA average in high school. Now, in the girls' division, Gianna Brandolino, she shot a 290 earlier this week. We'll talk about her, but we have a familiar face in her second PBA Junior Finals appearance, it's Kayla Starr. Yeah, and Kayla Starr is already committed to a full ride at Nebraska next year, but she too is an athlete, field hockey, uh, lacrosse, and hoops. It is a fantastic event here. A girls final on the line, scholarship money as well for college, a boys final as well, and then they'll pair up with the pros. And our Kimberly Pressler is now joined by the young women competing for a national championship today. Thanks, guys. Well, Gianna, at the start of the seeding round, you were sitting in fourth, and then you threw a huge 290 game to snag the number one seed. So how do you keep that momentum going to try and win here today? I just hope to keep making good shots. Hopefully the pins fall like they did yesterday and do what I can. Well, good luck to you. Thank you. And Kayla, you know, they talked about at the top of the show that you have experience because you have been here before. So what did you learn from the last time you were here that you can apply to this game today, so hopefully you walk away the winner. Just to stay calm and make good shots. And do you have that in you today? I hope so. <laughs> good luck to you. Here's how they got here. Gianna Brandolino, as Kimberly just referenced, she was fourth heading into the last game of match play. Shot a 290 to qualify on. So then Kayla Starr had to defeat Avery Domogoyne and was able to do that star with her second appearance on this Junior National Championship final show in three years. Representing the lanes at Fort Meade, Kayla Starr. <laughs> Kayla Starr, she went up against Jillian Martin two years ago, Randy. And she says she likes to get in and hook it. Well, she does have some past experience, uh, as Kim Kimberly mentioned, and 
We'll see if uh, she can call on some of that experience to help her today. Wow, that sounded like he was clipping the thumb hole going down the lane, but ended up in a perfect spot. Representing Joliet Town and Country Lanes in Joliet, Illinois, Gianna Brandolino. Gianna Brandolino from Shanahan, Illinois. Her favorite pro, A.J. Johnson. Yeah, she, she knows him. Like, personally. Yes. Played together before. Off a of 290 to get here. Great ball roll. Really, really nice ball roll there by Gianna, but just, just a pinch high, even the 6'10", but shouldn't be a problem converting this. No split. She avoids that, but check out this ball roll. Really nice rotation there. Has some rev rate. And nice break tripping that seven out. She's on Junior Team USA. Went mm -hmm. to Peru this past year. She did. She did well there, too. And a spare. Yeah, some more thumb hole. Thump, 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 thump. Can you imagine being 16, 17 years old with an audience on this stage? Well, you know, Times are so much different now. These, these youth bowlers have access to so much more than you know I ever did growing up. I mean, they can watch stuff on television. They can watch stuff uh, on YouTube. They can get so much information, coaching. Oh, even the 10. Gianna using the Crimson Jackal. Kayla using Reality. Little soft 10 here, you see the six just kind of sliding to the right. And then she goes to a spare ball. Good tip for the youth bowlers at home watching. Something that doesn't hook. Throw it nice and straight at single pin spares. Back to back spares to start for Brandolino. Kayla Starr, unfinished business. She's heading to Nebraska for college. Full ride. Mm. What an impressive individual. Played field hockey, lacrosse, basketball, but then said, I want to be the best at this sport. Here she is for a title today. Yeah. What a start. Well, one of the other things that's really cool about Kayla, is she said she likes Chipotle. And unlike last year's show, we will not have a rogue burrito on this show. <laughs> Great shot here. Look at that. Six kicks, ten out. By any of the players. Yes, that's what I meant. <laughs> Rob Stone, we know you're watching. We do. She was so impressive when we were talking with her, Kayla Starr. We said, so what's different from playing Jillian Martin and, and just falling a couple years ago? She goes, I'm stronger mentally. Oh, yeah. I mean, boom. Think about the experience that she, you know, that she gained from that show. And just moving forward the last couple of years, how she was able to apply it. Getting the scholarship to the University of Nebraska. I mean, it's all falling into place for Kayla Starr. Huskers have to be excited. Back to Brandolino, back to back spares. That's more like it for Gianna Brandolino. Let's take a look at our oil pattern, and this one is extra special today. Yeah, it is. It's, it's actually named after the reigning player of the year, the EJ Tackett pattern. 44 feet in length, the ratio is six to one. So uh, not a terribly difficult pattern. The players are gonna play in, probably left of second arrow to start. They can feed it as far right as probably the fifth board. That's today's Brunswick oil pattern. Plenty of oil in the middle of the lane. The players just play to their strengths. 
Oh, Messenger! Messenger back to back! I don't need two hands to throw a Messenger. <laughs> Head pin, sidewall, tent pin. Go to the blue tent. Oh, that emotion. Her parents met at a bowling alley. Julie and Jim. It's a Hollywood script. I'm telling you. Kayla Starr, she had to get through the step ladder. It's the top seed there. Starting strong here with four straights. Yeah, she's playing all hold. You can see just by the numbers here on strike track. Just right of second arrow down lane and just using that hand and wrist and reverate with a pretty strong bowling ball. And just laying it right into that puddle. In between third and fourth arrow, out to 10, 10 back. When she says she likes to, to get in and hook it. Yeah. Explain that to that's the viewers what, at home. Well, I mean, that's what she's doing. She's playing the middle part of the lane. She's using her hand, using a big ball and just burning up that oil. Four straight strikes. Oh. Yeah, that's the first one she got a little bit right. You can see that break point there. And the ball doesn't have enough energy to get the weak 10 out. You heard her say hook. And there's that posture. Oh, I got a little wide. Come on, get back. Seventeen years of age. This is what this event's all about, folks. PBA Junior Finals. Bowling in front of the nation. Interesting. No spare ball. Hmm. Uses her strike ball, flattens her wrist out, throws it end over end, and nice and straight. So you know, it's the same concept except she doesn't go to a spare ball. What do you make of that? I, I like it. I mean, Norm Duke made a living using the same ball for spares that he used for strikes. He would just flatten his hand, kill the rev rate. Gianna Brandolino entered the position round yesterday in fourth place. She was trailing Victoria White by 40 pins. Needs a 10. With a focus solely on remaining in the top five to make the step ladder, Brandolino said she waffled between two different balls, Randy, yeah. during the three-minute practice session. Her first option left a flat 10 in the first frame, so she made the switch. She never missed again. Yeah. Nice decision. If only you had those decision-making skills at this age. Yeah. Listen, at my age now, I don't have very good decision-making skills. Intervention centers in Wichita. <laughs> Back to Brandolino. We got a battle here. Yeah, well, she she got a little skinny on that 10 pin, but still covered it, but trailing by 21 halfway through this first game. Oh. Mm. Big time wide right. Look at the numbers here, John. And I thought the players could get it back from around five, but anything outside of five, it's gonna, yeah, it's gonna continue to scoot down the lane. What's the key here? Well, the key is to cover the one, the two, and the four with the bowling ball, and by doing that, it'll cover that back pin, the eight pin. Needs it. PBA Junior Finals on National Championship hangs in the balance. Gianna Brandolino, Kayla Starr, who will rise to the top? A battle in Wichita. The PBA on FS1 is sponsored by Bolero, the number one place to bowl, party, and play with over 340 locations nationwide. Head to Bolero.com today to find a center near you. 
Hey, there's last year's PBA Junior National Champion on the girls' side. Yes, yes, it is. It's you. That's Caitlin Stahl, a finalist this year, falling just short. But congratulations to Caitlin on last year's victory. Kimberly Pressler is now joined by both of our women pros, Lindsay Boomershine and Valerie Bursier. We will see competing in doubles a bit later today. Thanks, John. So, Valerie, I know that you're taking a two-year hiatus because you just had a son, Aiden. Congratulations on that. So what does it mean to be back here in this amazing event? It's such a cool opportunity for these youth bowlers to be able to compete not only against each other on TV, but with a couple of professionals. I'm just so excited to be here. And these ladies are absolutely spectacular. Thank you so much for your time. Okay, now I know that you are a pro. You just won a major title last year, but you also coach on the side. So what advice did you give your teammate Gianna before her match? Well, I told Gianna just to have fun. You know, one shot at a time. Don't put added pressure on yourself. I made that mistake many, many times on my first couple of TV shows. So just go out there and love what you do. That's amazing advice that'll take her all through her pro years too. Yes. Thank you. Now the great Lindsay Boomer shine. And her big win in 2023, capturing the Queen's title. A look at where we stand here between Caitlin Starr and Gianna Brandolino. What's impressed you the most about Starr thus far? Well, she's hit the pocket every shot. Started with four in a row. Again, she does have past experience in the PBA Junior National Championships. Got a hook. Get up. Oh, it does. Kayla Starr in control. See the break point there at 5.3. Remember, I said that you could probably get it out to about five. She does. And a nice kick save on the 10 and a beauty. Crofton, Maryland. Any idea where that is? Oh, you're going to Google it. Yep. Do you know? No idea. <laughs> Why did you ask? I don't know. Just. It's 24 miles south of Baltimore. See, there you go. 24 miles east, northeast of Washington, D.C. Oh. Yeah, I got that one in the puddle and just not enough oomph going through the one three. But a better shot, in my opinion, wasn't wide right. Even though the other shot struck, that one doesn't. And right now, all she has to do is just fill frames, make her spares, and see what Gianna can do. Her dad's boss sent him this Kids Bowl Free Summer Program. Okay. She was four years old. Yeah. Dad said, Kayla, we're heading to the bowling alley. Eventually getting to the league, junior league. Now here at the PBA Junior Finals, she's calm, cool, collected, and smiling. Now Gianna's got to get on the strike train, and she's got to start right now. Down by 25, stepping up in the seventh frame. On tap next, the boys' finals, both of the young men, two-handed specialists. So that'll be fun to watch. Wonder where they get that from, the two-handed stuff. Hmm. Dimitri Richardson and Ernesto Reynoso, that's coming up. Brandolino needs to start a run. Well, she made a ball change there, went to a nuclear forge. Got it inside a target just a bit, leaves a four pin. What I like about Gianna, she's not afraid to make adjustments and make changes on the fly. She proved that in position round when her first shot, she left the 10 pin and then switched balls and struck out for 290. Incredible. <laughs> the reviews are in. First things first is a mix of analysis, tremendous chemistry, and total ridiculousness. Nick Wright, Chris Broussard, and Kevin Wilde serve up a fresh daily dose of unscripted and unfiltered sports talk. Weekdays at 3 p.m. Eastern on FS1. Okay. Where she stands right now, heading into the eighth. 
What's your thought process? <laughs> There's only one. Throw strikes. Oh, oh. that is all but it, it, that that puts this match <laughs> almost out of reach now. Because that's going to be an open frame unless she can become just the fifth player ever to convert the 710 on national television. Never say never. She's going to be in the 190s with nine back here. <laughs> Kayla Starr, she, she is in the 220s. And now it's a 39 pin deficit. All but over. Max score now for Brandolino's 210. Kayla Starr has been waiting for this moment. She was here two years ago. You see she loves Deandra Asbati and Kyle Troop. And now she's ready to claim a championship and has performed perfectly. Yeah, she's made really good shots. It was just the one shot that was a little wide right, and that one still struck. There he is, he the commish. Tom Clark, what a job he has done at the PBA. And, and with this event, PBA Junior Finals, it's so cool to see the future on display and, and Tom's vision playing such a huge role in everything that the PBA does. And, and in this way, with this event, its impact on the sport is so, so cool because these kids, they had to compete in August at five different regionals to get here. Great idea and concept by Tom. Star soaring to a championship. Game over. What a performance. Wow. Every ball in the pocket, covered both 10 pins. Past experience uh, really helped her come through here today. And a PBA Junior National Champ. Never miss the pocket. Kimberly is with Kayla Starr. Kayla, this win has been two years in the making. Describe this moment of you standing in the winner's circle holding that trophy. Feels great. It's good to know that all the hard work paid off. Well, let's talk about that hard work because tell me everything that happened today because it looked like you were having an easy time out here. Um, I mean, I just tried to stay patient and throw good shots, so I guess it went my way. And you absolutely did that. Congratulations. You are a PBA Junior National Champion. Kayla Starr hoisted in the air. And she's got $7,500 in scholarship money coming her way as well. She's off to Nebraska. She's a champion. What a matchup between Brandolino and Starr and the emotion of this great event. So the ladies started. The boys are next. Welcome back to the PBA Junior National Finals. We have crowned our girls champion, Kayla Starr. She defeats Gianna Brandolino 259 to 209 here at Bolero North Rock in Wichita. Now we move to our finalists in the boys division, Dimitri Richardson and Ernesto Reynoso. They're with Kimberly Pressler. Thanks, John. So, Ernesto, you have experience on TV winning junior gold last year, so you know what to expect when you come out here. So how do you mentally prepare for a high caliber event like this? Uh, what can I say? I love the lights. I love the pressure, and I just love doing, doing this. I love bowling, and I'm super excited. That's a good vibe to have. Good luck to you today. Thank you. And Dimitri, even though you've not been on TV before, you have competed at a high level for several years now. And yesterday in our interviews, you were totally calm and collected, but it's a little bit different when you're under the bright lights of FS1. So how are the nerves? Uh, they are, I'm trying to ignore them right now. <laughs> <laughs> That's but. a good thing. But you know what helps with the nerves? Having friends here. And yeah. you had a little bit of a surprise because uh, Evan and Adam, your friends, drove in from Denver eight hours, got here at 4 a.m. just to surprise you. What does it mean to have them here supporting you? It means a lot. It's uh, I have only my dad here and then having my friends come out means a lot to me. Yeah. <laughs> and I know they bowl with you. Did they give you any advice? Did you talk to them ahead of time? Yeah, I talked to them about what balls to throw and I'm down to two right now. <laughs> All right, let's see how it goes. Good luck to you. Thank you. Wow, down to two. 
Well, Ernesto Reynoso in the step ladder. He was able to defeat Elias O'Halloran with that 269 to 190 victory, and he rode that all the way to this championship showdown. Representing AMF Rockland Lanes in Rockland, California, Ernesto Reynoso. Went through Kids Bowl free one summer. He said, I started going every day. I fell in love. Fell in love with Belmo, Simo. Convinced his mom, give me a ball. Now he's here. Game away from a national championship. Two-hander, no thumb. You're starting with urethane. Welcome to the show, Ernesto. Whammo! Representing Bolero Wheat Ridge in Wheat Ridge, Colorado, Dimitri Richardson. His family has no bowling history, Randy. He won a Storm Youth Championship. He did win an, an SYC, but I mean, early on, don't you think Dimitri looks a little nervous? I mean, more so than Ernesto? We're gonna find out right now. The answer to your question is no. What a nice shot, wow. Dimitri going with a phase two, so he's using reactive, and Ernesto starting with the IQ 78. Another two-hander. Peterson, at the moment, silenced by Dimitri Richardson. We're just taking it all in. <laughs> I mean, I mean, two handers, both of them, but two completely different styles. And we right. see that with Belmo, with Simo, with Kyle Troop. 17 years old. Wow. I'll tell you what, he gets it off his hand beautifully. And again, just stepping back to these youngsters under these bright lights of the PBA Tour, it's bowling's biggest stage, and it's like nothing. It's like it doesn't even phase them. I mean, I thought you were supposed to be nervous. Unflappable. I mean, you're talking about a 17-year-old in, in Dimitri Richardson, a 16-year-old in Ernesto Reynoso. He did win junior gold, as Kimberly referenced earlier. Wow. Yeah, he's playing all hold with that urethane ball. You can see just how straight he's going. Laying it down just inside third arrow, third arrow to about 10. Pretty straight up the lane with that urethane ball. Nothing but strikes thus far. Mm. Mm, not that one. Yeah, just a little soft entering the pocket. And you can see again the breakpoint numbers on strike track. Not a lot of whole not a whole lot of down lane movement with the urethane ball. does pick it up. We want to recognize Stefan and Cassie Honan, owners of H5G. They are donating an additional $1,000 in scholarship funds to the winner of each division today. Great people, and uh, I've known them for quite some time, and great supporters and sponsors of our tour. Thank you both so much for all you do for, for our sport and for our players. It's on top of the smart scholarships money. $7,500 at stake. Not, Richardson. Not today, Ten Pin. Not today. 
I mean, he gets it out of his hand beautifully. Look at this roll. And then obviously with the style, the two-handed style, no thumb, you're going to create a lot of revolutions. And then the 10 pin got slapped silly, didn't know which direction to fall in. Yes, he plans to go into engineering. Super smart kid. He's trying to get better at golf, too. Mr. Richardson! Man. Your table's ready. <laughs> yeah, he's setting it nicely, isn't he? Wow. Front four out of the gate. Just when he looked like he was having trouble keeping the insides from coming to the outside, steps up and throws four in a row. You know, he told PBA.com, he said, stringing strikes is almost impossible if you think about stringing strikes. Wise man once said, don't think, it'll only hurt the ball club. Reynoso. Ten. So now that tells me he's in the wrong ball. Back-to-back -back shots that don't strike. The shaker seven, and then that shot there's pretty good. It's ring ten. And I think that he's probably going to look back at his ball rep that's here working for one of our manufacturers. And he's going to probably get talked into going to reactive resin. Plastic spare ball. Leads it up. Good cover. All right. Let's see if he makes an adjustment. Just a one game match. See, looking over at the storm rep, he's like, all right. Um, and there he is. He's right, right now just went to reactive. He's going to a phase two. Same ball that Dimitri's in. So now he's going to have to make an adjustment with feet and target. He's going to move left, and he's going to open this pattern up because this ball is obviously going to curve more. And there it is. Still the 10. And that's never good because when you do make a ball change and you flat 10 for a right hander off of that, man, that's going to that's gonna be a head scratch. You walk back on, um, all right, now what do I do? Hmm. What do you think? I think he has to stay in reactive, whether it's that one or another one, but it, he better make a decision quick. That looked like it was just a little soft coming around the corner. So at the moment, it's Dimitri Richardson who has control of this championship showdown. I mean, and this is where you really want to put boots to your opponent, right? I mean, he just went three spares in a row, and Dimitri's working on a four-bagger. This is where you just want to step up and throw two more right here, make it six, heading into the commercial break. He loves Anthony Simonson. Oh. Oh. We asked him, so do you try to duplicate or replicate what Anthony does? He goes, it's too hard. Yeah, I don't I don't think anybody can duplicate what Anthony Simonson does. He's just too unique. This kid, despite looking a little nervous, you said right before he got going, once he's gotten going, he is locked in. I mean, I think all the, the kids today have really managed their nerves spectacularly I, they're just doing a great job it's like it's like they don't even notice that no. there's cameras and you know the, they bowled in front of pretty big crowds before but it's like tv doesn't even exist it's on his high school team cherry creek high school they don't have a, enough bowlers to do a singular high school team they pull others in to form the group Started bowling when he was eight years of age. And Dimitri Richardson has a 7-10. Whoa. Uh, not a good time for that to happen because you now give a little life to your opponent when you had the hammer down. But that's the second 7-10 split, pocket split we've seen on that left lane today. The door just cracked open. Mm -hmm. Sure did. I can feel the breeze. 
Oh, boy. The door just cracked wide open. Welcome back to the PBA Junior National Championship Finals at Valero North Rock from Wichita, Kansas. We've got a battle right now before we get back to that. Kimberly Pressers with the pros on the men's side will be in action. EJ Tack and AJ Johnson. Thanks, John. So, EJ, this is the third year that you have participated in this elite junior event. So how much does it mean to you to help shape and mold the up and coming junior bowlers of the world? Uh, it's an incredible feeling. You know, I think the PBA is doing such a great job with giving uh, youth and juniors another platform to have the opportunity to get on TV and learn what it's like to be out here under the lights. And uh, I'm so happy to be a part of it and share all the knowledge that I can and uh, help, help shape the next generation. Are you ready to compete a little bit later? Oh, I'm always ready. <laughs> always ready. Thank you, AJ. And AJ, you and I talked about this earlier about how absolutely amazing this event is. How cool would it have been if it was around when you were younger? Oh, absolutely. I mean, the, uh, the opportunity that the PBA gives these kids uh, to not only, you know, get the opportunity to bowl on TV, bowl with pros like EJ and myself, um, it's, uh, it's an incredible honor. Um, and having something like that younger to kind of get the experience and the exposure um, to learn and have that, you know, going into the tour, I think is a, is a huge thing. So I'm excited to get after it. It sure is. Let's get back to bowling, guys. How cool is that, Randy Peterson? As you take a look at the score, that lead is down to eight. The fact that these guys are going to get to play with EJ Tack and AJ Johnson. Very. Yeah, it's a, it's a once-in-a-lifetime opportunity for these kids. And, you know, the pros taking time out of their busy schedules to, to be a part of this. And I, I know how much it means to them to be asked to be a part of such a great event. So Reynoso had the door open as Richardson with an eight, and Reynoso capitalizes. Uh, don't, don't pay attention to that red line because it, that red line's kind of kind of gone off the rails. But this is a beautiful shot here. Remember the ball change, and he did leave that flat ten on the left lane, but steps up here, and this one's perfect. And with one more strike in the seventh, guess what, John? We will have a new leader. Amazing how things can change that quickly, right? Yes, pocket 710 changed everything. Yeah. I think it's the worst break in bowling because you, you, you hit the pocket and then you don't even have a chance to make a spare. Right. Ernesto is the new leader. Down 22, now up two, and the just right strike is brought to you by Just Bear, the mindful choice for high quality protein with no antibiotics ever. Just right, Just Bear. Just barely struck on that light hit. Richardson, Messenger in Wichita. Mailman's in despite sub-zero temps. <laughs> oh, that's a thing of beauty. I used to throw messengers like that. You used back to. Back in the day, said me never. <laughs> Watch oh. this pin action. And this is why you put power and speed on a bowling ball. I mean, you got to get these pins flying and moving. And, you know, anytime you can make the pocket bigger and, and increase your carry percentage, that's always going to keep you in the game. Wow, 7,500 bucks in scholarship dollars on the line here and a trophy. We've got a showdown, folks. These two are special. I'll tell you what I'm really jealous about with these youngsters and their friends that are here. They all have great hair. Yeah. What was your, did you have 80s hair? Dude, I had the I had the part going down the middle and the feather the feathers going back. Yeah, yeah, man. We didn't have any hair products back then. What'd you use? Nothing. Richardson doesn't use anything either. All he does is bull. He's feeling it now. And this match is is now a real match. Back and forth with both players. Max score for Reynoso. 257. 
max score for Richardson, 255. His favorite movie, 21 Jump Street. His favorite show to binge watch, The Office. Rob Riggle would play him in a movie, and he loves chicken wings. If that ain't America, I don't know what is. This kid from California represents everybody. Boom. Oh. Big hit there in the ninth frame, sets up the tenth. And no matter what happens, Richardson cannot shut out Reynoso. How much fun is this? It's great. It's, it's what you live for uh, as a fan of bowling, and that's for matches to come down to the ninth and tenth frame. PBA Junior Finals, fourth edition of this great event. We're watching the future now. Ten. Ah, oh, just a little right at target, and it just hung. Same tempo, same tempo, okay? And what a turnaround because of one shot in the sixth frame that wasn't a bad shot. It was a bad break. The pocket 7-10 he left in the sixth. Maybe just a hair fast on that last shot on the right lane, but still good enough to strike. So heading to the 10th, Randall, where do we stand? Well, now max score for Richardson, 234. Reynoso's already in the high 230s. So right now, if you're Richardson, all you're thinking about is striking out and making Reynoso show up in the 10th. Richardson needs it. Oh, man. Oh. Yep. Been there before, brother. I feel your pain. He's flushed every shot. He left a 10 pin in the fifth, pocket 7 10 in the sixth, back to back 10 pins, ninth and 10th. Richardson did not need the step ladder. He got through on match play in a 10 boy field. He's a special talent. He is. And has a bright, bright future. Throws it great. He's got moxie, can handle the pressure. He's made great shots. Hey, here's another guy who has been in this event and won it. Spencer Robarge, now of the Wichita State Shockers. That's unfortunate. I don't know if you knew this or not, but Spencer Robarge and I have one thing in common. We listen to the same music. He loves 70s and 80s. And so do you. All right, needs nine pins here to win it. Ernesto Reynoso from Folsom, California. He loves the bright lights. He told us that. He lives for the big stage. Ernesto Reynoso. That's it. Earned the PBA Junior National Championship. Wow. This thing turned around in a hurry. Let's go. Made the ball change, left the 10 pin in the fifth, and then he strung four in a row. Saw Dad Ernesto Sr., Mom Christina. So proud of their boy, they should be. Gutsy performance. There they are, they're the proud parents. the exclamation point for Ernesto Reynoso. Yeah, let's go! Let's go! <laughs> Love it. That's great. 16 years old, the satisfying moment of the match is sponsored by Snickers. Nothing satisfies like a Snickers. Do it again. Let's go, dude. Very impressive young man.
high. Kimberly Pressers with our champion. A very excited champion, Ernesto. So listen, you were down up until the six, and then Dimitri left the door open with that 7-10 split. How were you able to capitalize on that? Oh, I had to make a ball change. Uh, my urethane ball wasn't really finishing the back, leaving me a couple weak 10 pins. I knew I had to get out, get out around my face too and uh, try to kick the 10 pin out. So luckily I did that enough to get the win. You absolutely did. Now, at the start of the show, you said that you love the bright lights, you love bowling. Tell us what this win means to you. Everything. I'm so happy. All my hard work paid off. Just countless hours I've spent in the bowling alley just means the world to me. I'm so excited right now. Well, congratulations. Go over there and celebrate with your parents because you are now a PBA Junior National Champion. Thank you. With Ernesto and Christina, his parents hugging him. Ernesto Reynoso is your boys' champion. Doubles action next. Welcome back to the PBA Junior National Championship Finals at Valero North Rock in Wichita, Kansas. Kayla Starr delivering on the girls' side and getting redemption two years after coming up just short, winning the girls' edition. And then the kit from California, Ernesto Reynoso. 16, 17-year-olds competing for titles. What could be better than that? He is. Randy Peterson's here. I'm John Fancho. So now these kids get to pair up with the pros. Yeah. Yeah, pretty exciting. Uh, think about being paired up with the reigning player of the year in E.J. Tackett and then going with uh, A.J. Johnson, uh, the other uh, male professional, A.J. coming off of his first ever victory in 2023 when he won the Lucky Larson in Sweden. So uh, both of these young men have to be pretty excited, as well as our young ladies on the women's side. Yes, and we're about to watch them as Lindsay Boomershine, who won the 2023 USBC Queens in Las Vegas, defeated Maria Rodriguez. So now Lindsay will be pairing up with Gianna Brandolino, who's looking for redemption here and capping off the day with a win. And it'll be Valerie Bersier and Kayla Starr. Yeah, th this is going to be fun to watch. And remember, it's just a five frame match. It is just a five frame match yeah. on the female side and then a five frame match on the male side. And then the top female duo, the top male duo, they will square off. Hey, it's time for pressing questions. And today's pressing questions is presented by Go Bowling. Kimberly Pressler asked the pros their favorite and least favorite school subjects. Kevin, let's talk high school. What was your favorite class? I can tell by that reaction that you're already like, none. Anyone that went to high school with me knows I didn't really go. I barely graduated because I never was there. So my favorite class was team sports. <laughs> Just got to play sports all the time. That's all I want to do. I would probably say my favorite subject was math, I guess. You could have gone with anything and you went with math. Yeah, well, what do you want me to say? <laughs> I, wasn't, I, was, I'm, I wasn't good at English. I still don't know how to use a comma. I'm generally just not that educated. My favorite subject in high school? Um, this do you have one? Just PE count because I always wanted to play sports. My favorite class was gym. I love gym class. It was the others that I struggled with. <laughs> I always liked math. Uh, until they got to the point where it was getting with a bunch of letters in it, and then I it was getting hard. Yeah, and I, I kind of lost interest. Physics. Really? What was your favorite subject in school? Uh, <laughs> uh well. You don't have one, do you? I don't. Uh, not going to class is that is that a subject? Packy, how were you in high school? Were you a good student? I was. I I did whatever it took to get a B. Never too much, but just enough always. So, yeah, I don't know if I was good or bad. Just good enough to get a B. It's Lindsay Boomershine and Valerie Bersier joining up with the kids, Kayla Starr and Gianna Brandolino, a five frame women's match next. Welcome back to Bolero North Rock, Wichita, Kansas. The Shockers are on hand. Kimberly Pressler is with one of the brains behind the operation of the PBA Junior Finals. 
I sure am, John. I am joined by Mike Sleds, who is the director of membership for the PBA. And I'm pretty sure it's unanimous that everybody seems to love this event. So why did this elite junior program come about? Oh, I agree, Kimberly. Uh, we started PBA Junior to do our part to support and grow competitive youth bowling and uh, also to give these uh, junior bowlers an opportunity to earn, earn those important scholarship dollars. So. But there has been some changes for 2024, correct? Exactly. Uh, these competitors got here by bowling in one of five um, regional qualifiers at one lo er, on one weekend in 2023. And in 2024, we're hosting four, uh, 12 regionals at 12 different locations across the country. Well, that just means a lot more youth can participate, right? Exactly. That's, That's a win-win right there. Thank yep. you so much for your time. You're welcome. Thank you. Kayla Starr on the girls' side, Ernesto Reynoso on the boys' side, going home with the individual trophies, but now they're in action in doubles. PBA Junior, Kayla Starr, and the 2019 PWBA Rookie of the Year, Valerie Bersier. So five frames here, folks. That means... Things will be figured out quite quickly, and mm. winners here will advance to meet the men's finalist. What impressed you the most about Kayla? Well, she had the highest game out of all of the uh, youth bowlers. One, shot 259, never missed the pocket. Starts right where she left off. PBA Junior, Gianna Brandolino. And the 2023 USBC Queens champion, Elvis, Lindsey Boomershine. First PWBA title and a major at that for Boomershine. Last May, receiving the coveted Queens tiara. Lindsey Bold at Nebraska, Valerie Bold at Nebraska, and Kayla's going to Nebraska. Hmm. See a common thread here. I do too. Oh no. Mm. How dare you? Solid nine. What a shot though. Watch the bowling ball go right past the nine pin. I have a little bit of power to get that to happen, right? I mean, if it's deflecting, it's going to deflect right into the nine pin. And she's got pretty good hand and some nice revolutions. Cleans it up. So a strike for Star and Bersier and a spare for Brandolino Boomershine. And now here she is. Lindsay married to Hank Boomershine, one of the VPs at Storm Products, Inc. back in Utah. I know Hank is watching. Cashed in on all 11 events she competed in in 2023, but a challenging start here. Well, good break kicking that 10 out late. But what a win this was. 2023 Queens down in Samstown in Vegas. She threw three clutch shots in the 10th frame to claim her first title. And they were brutally tough. That competition, but what a win for Lindsay. And uh -oh. cannot spare. So, for Bersier and Star, momentum on their side as Valerie, who bowled at Nebraska, as you said, 2009 national champion, three time All American, 10 time member of Team Canada. Oh, Valerie! That looked like it was illegal. Was that clipping on the 10? Tripping. Talk about a nice ball roll. Watch this. Yeah, she get it out of her hand. Nice. 2019 PWBA Rookie of the Year and slaps that 10 out nicely.
Back to Kayla Starr. Oh! Seven. That left lane likes 7 10. Yes, it does. I think, I think it's really cool, though, that the juniors started, which means they're going to finish the 10th frame. Pros are only going to throw two shots in this five frame match. So 23 pin lead as Star will look to make it 24. Kayla winning the girls' individual championship moments ago, and for Bersier and Star, they're feeling good. Back to Brandolino here, and now you're facing a deficit, and again, when you're only in five frames, it's time to get to work. Giddy up. Laced that one. Beautiful shot here by Gianna. There you go. Lindsey Boomershine, 2005 national champion with the Huskers. When she was NTCA Division I Rookie of the Year, four-time All-American, but she's got a bit of a conundrum here with the eight and the 10. Yeah, it was a lot like the last shot she threw on that lane where she tripped the 10 out late, only leaving the two, four, eight. But this time it's light again, and she pays for it. Ball wiggling down lane and just probably a little too deep on the approach for that particular ball motion. So for Bersier and Star, they are all but official. Mm -hmm. Valerie, top four finish at the U.S. Women's Open in 2017. Yes, nine spare work. And it will. She's a registered dietitian, a health coach, and co-owner of Burberry Health and Wellness, LLC. Well, it is Kayla Starr's day. She and Bersier. That's cleaned up. And again, with this five frame match and the winners, Star and Bersier heading towards that, will meet the winners on the men's side. And that's coming up in just a few moments. Stars rising once again. John? 17 years of age, Randy. 17, and she can throw it like that. And heading to Nebraska, that locks it up. It's all Kayla Starr, folks. She and Valerie Bersier will be bowling for the doubles title at this PBA Junior Finals. She's a huge Swifty. She loves Taylor Swift. She loves the show Friends. You said it. She loves Chipotle. She's got personality. She's got swagger. And she says, I've trusted my process. And that's led her to greatness. Again, the juniors bowling three out of the five frames, which you think is pretty cool. I do. It shows just how well they can handle the pressure, being that in that anchor position. Star champion and a superstar that's heading with Valerie Bersier to a finals match on the double side. 
It's a nice time for us to put a cap on what we've seen from Gianna Brandolino. Her mentality has been really impressive. Shot a 290 to get to the individual finals. Isn't the last we've seen of her. She's a really good player, make no mistake about it. I mean, she is a, she's a bowling alley rat. She spends a lot of time working on her game and perfecting her craft and um, it shows. I mean, you can see the talent. Brandolino finishing strong. But Valerie Bercier and Kayla Starr say, we've got next. And boys, we'll be waiting for you. Who are those boys? Well, we're about to see the next. And they'll be with the pros, A.J. Johnson. Hey, junior bowlers, here's your chance to become a PBA Junior National Champion and compete to win more than $10,000 in smart scholarships. With 12 regional qualifiers and three divisions throughout 2024, this is your chance to compete on the national stage. Go to PBA.com right now to enter. It's time for the men to take the stage. PBA Junior Ernesto Reynoso. And a 21-time champion on the PBA Tour with four majors, the reigning PBA Player of the Year, EJ Tackett. 21 time? Yeah. Yeah, he's, uh, he's good. He's had some career and he's only 31 years old. Amazing. And how about this 16 year old? Good start. And now he gets to bowl with EJ Tackett. Wow. He's got that routine. Gotta have routine, brother. It works. And he's got so much swagger. How much do you love his emotion? He does. PBA Junior Dimitri Richardson with the PBA Champion 2023 Storm Lucky Larson winner AJ Johnson. And again, the juniors are bowling three of the five frames. And this is for the right to meet Valerie Bercier and uh, our junior girls champion, Kayla Starr, for the doubles final. Richardson. Dimitri Richardson strikes for the juniors. They're beyond their years. All right, it's time for A.J. Johnson. We talked with him earlier this week. And A.J., what a moment for him. Won his first career title at Storm Lucky Larson Masters in Sweden in September. He was number 13 seed. He beat Ryan Barnes. He beat Chris Prather. He beat Anthony Simonson and Jesper Svensson in the title match. A.J.'s here now, and he's feeling good. A little different world for AJ these days. But it was nice to see him get his first win. Several runner-up finishes. This guy knows how to win. And win often. Oh. AJ strikes a plenty. You know what I, I, I think is interesting to note is you can see the RPMs and ball speed up there in your right hand corner. The two professionals use their thumbs. The two junior bowlers do not. <laughs> that emotion. EJ Tackett. What a duo this is with Ernesto Reynoso. Thank <laughs> you. 
Oh, yeah. Nothing but oh, strikes. Nice. <laughs> yeah, give it another one here. 463 nice. rev rate for Ernesto. EJ Tackett was at 516. Just saying, you can still create revs with your thumb in it. That's all I'm saying. I'm not knocking the other style. I'm just saying. You're just saying with Randy Peterson. Back to Richardson. Strike down. Wow. This is a battle. We're heading to the second to last. And neither side is blanked. All right, 498 for Richardson. Let's see where AJ Johnson registers on the rev rate chart. AJ's better half, Allie, joined him at the Lucky Larson Masters. And get this, they found out shortly beforehand that they were expecting a child. Such great news. And as AJ told us, he had two spectators with him when he won that first title. Boom. How about our player of the year in the PBA, EJ Tackett. Amazing year. I mean, if you look at some of the other players and, and what a great season they had last year, like Anthony Simonson. I mean, any other year he captures player of the year, but EJ was just that spectacular. He was just that dominant. One of only five players to have won both PBA Rookie and PBA Player of the Year in his career. Jason Belmonte, Chris Barnes, Tommy Jones, Mike Albee, the four others. All right, Randy, are these kids built for the clutch moment? I think they've proven that. And how cool is it that they're the ones that get to cement it? Who's going to meet Kayla Starr and Valerie Bercier for the doubles title? Reynoso keeps coming up clutch. Man. Great shot. Great shot. It was drilled to 10. Even his shirt can't get in the way of this great shot. Watch the six pin just absolutely slice and dice the 10 up. He is from Folsom, California. His father works at Folsom Prison. I was hoping you were going to bring that up. And Randy Peterson. Oh. Uh -oh. He has walked that line. All right, all right. One more, one more. There's Dad. Well, one more and can't be shut out, right? Nope. And if we do have a tie, the juniors will start the roll off. How good is this? How good is this? Yeah, it doesn't get any better. Uh oh. Yeah, that left lane looks like it has that little tricky spot there where if you don't get it to that spot down lane, it looks like it can hydroplane. Remember, Lindsey Boomershine had a lot of trouble on that left lane, but now the door is wide open for Richardson. Two strikes and eight is what he needs. Dimitri Richardson, he fell just short on the single side against Reynoso. Now looking for some redemption. Dimitri Richardson from Colorado. Go. Over. Not a bad shot, just a pinch high though, John, and he leaves a four pin. Reynoso and Tackett all smiles and the reigning PBA player of the year. The PBA Junior Finals boys champion will be going up against the ladies next. And Kayla Starr and Valerie Bercier. I love watching this kid compete. I really like his game, too. He throws it real nice. He's a little bit 
more traditional in style, even though he uses two hands. His body's a little more square, a little more upright. A lot of times you see the players that use two hands, they get real sideways. Uh, I mean, look at Reynoso, he gets real sideways. But Richardson's a little bit more square, but he gets the ball out of his hand, out of his hand beautifully. Because, because of that squareness going to the foul line, his backswing is a little bit shorter, but he's still able to create plenty of ball speed. He's got a great game. Yes, he does. So it will all come down to this in the PBA Junior Finals doubles action. Versier and Star versus Reynoso and Tackett. All of the emotion in Wichita. The crown is on the line. It's been so fun to be here at Valero North Rock, and there are the trophies at stake. It's the boys versus the girls at the PBA Junior Finals. Kayla Starr won the girls' individual title over Gianna Brandolino. Ernesto Reynoso able to come out on top on the boys' side. And now here's Star. The ladies have work to do. You're right, John, they do. And it starts with that strike right there by Kayla. But they've got a lot of work to do, and they're going to have to start stringing strikes to get back in this. Down by 22, can cut that to 12 with another strike here in the seventh. But, man, EJ Tackett and Reynoso looking pretty strong. You've liked what you've seen from Bersier. I, I, I think she's got a great game. It's just that left lane to me looks a little tricky. Be there. Be there. There it it was there. Yeah, I mean, it, it, and it was barely there. Again, laboring a little bit on that left lane, and it looks like if she moves a little bit right, it, it, it hooks too soon. And remember the last shot before this, she left the four pin on that left lane. So she went light, excuse me, she went strike, then light, and then four pin, and then followed it up with the light mixer. Tackett leaves the seven. Reynoso has done nothing but struck thus far. Pretty good shot there in terms of break point for EJ Tackett. Tackett's really bringing this duo down. <laughs> Glad you said that, not me. We're kidding. <laughs> Hi. <Hit me> up. <laughs> when, when would you ever see him say it? And he's saying that to a 16-year-old. That's why I love this event. Yeah, it's awesome. He's like, come on, kid. Hold me up. <laughs> and the kid, how's he done holding them up? Oh, my God. He's digging it. What about his game has impressed you the most? I think, you know, obviously, physically, he throws it really nice. But he's so able to stay in the moment, right? Doesn't get ahead of himself. Mm -hmm. He just makes real good quality shots. I said, I'm firm. And he's strong. He is so consistent. He is. All strikes for Reynoso. Right, give you one more, buddy. Four of them. And then heads back to the water bottle. He's like a great pitcher in Hyd baseball. Hydration's key, John. Got to stay hydrated. There you go. Take a swig. The ladies are hanging around. Well, she's doing her part and mm -hmm. trying to set this up for her partner. Star has struck every shot. And now to keep them, keep them in this, they need a hit right here by Valerie. Versier, PWBA Rookie of the Year five years ago. Versier delivers! Big. Wow! All right, here's the situation as it stands now, hitting in the ninth and tenth frame, ninth and tenth for Tackett and Reynoso. They strike out, they shoot 258. Max score for Versier. 
and star 257. The reigning PBA player of the year, yeah. Messenger for Tackett. Yeah. Let's go. Let's go, dude. Oh, yeah. Show the youngin what a messenger is all about. Oh, this is big boy pants right here. <laughs> That's 21 tour titles. That's four majors. And here's three to shut out the other team. And this kid has been cold blooded. Fell in love with basketball first, but then said, I can be dominant in this sport. And he oh. has dominated today. Oh. Hey, Scott, come on, come on. Two more. And Reynoso and Tackett have done it. Both juniors have been perfect in this match. That's incredible. It is. That's incredible. Yeah, it's pretty impressive. PBA Junior Finals, folks. This event is awesome. Oh. Ernesto! Oh, yeah! He didn't like it, but that left lane will do that for you. If you get it in, it'll really lay there and hold. And it did just that. Nine guarantees him nothing worse than a tie, a strike, and they'll claim it. Kid from Folsom, California. Ernesto Reynoso. A golden boy! Let's go, dude! Yeah, let's go, dude! Man. Individual champion, then he was the anchor for Tackett. He was perfect. He struck out. Yeah, EJ, this is what you have to look forward to down the road. Holy smokes. I mean, that's, that's pro stuff. You bet. Impressive. Yeah, we were the only ones. <laughs> yeah, EJ and Valerie, the only two that did not strike up until that First shot in the 10th frame for Kayla. And Kayla is off to Nebraska. It's not the last we've seen of her. Great job. Great job. You have to love this, the camaraderie. All right, let's go get Sportsmanship, camaraderie. It's a great sport. Oh, it's a good day. It is a good day. It's Ernesto a good day. Reynoso, you're right. It was a good game. He and EJ Tackett are champs. How about this winning shot? Six pin sidewall decimates the 10. I mean, just perfection. EJ gets up out of his seat. That's good stuff. That is really good stuff. Kimberly is with the boys. Ernesto, what a day for you. You won the singles and now you're standing in the winner's circle with the doubles trophy in your hand. Did you ever think that you were gonna be standing up here bowling with the reigning player of the year and actually have to carry this guy? <laughs> never, never. <laughs> I never thought that, no, not even. How did you guys do so well? You bowled so well together. I just stepped up and threw the best shots I could and I know he was gonna do the same thing because he's EJ Tackett, so. <laughs> Absolutely, and when I talked to you, EJ, earlier, I asked if you wanted to have fun or if you were out here to win, and what did you say? Uh, yes. Yes. <laughs> yes to both. He wants to win as well. EJ, can you reflect on this day, on how amazing this young talent is? Um, he just proved how good he really is. Uh, all the shots that we threw in the, in the five-frame match, and that one he only missed one, one time. I missed twice, so he's carried me through this whole thing. Um, 
really want to thank the PBA for putting on such a great event. I want to thank H5G for sponsoring and, and doing such a great job and just getting us here to this point to let someone like Ernesto shine. That's right. The future is bright with these guys. Congratulations. A reminder that our coverage of the PBA Tour continues next weekend, Saturday, with live coverage of the PBA Elite League, presented by Snickers from Las Vegas at 7 Eastern on FS1. And on Sunday, March 31st, with our third major of the season, the USBC Masters from the Suncoast Bowling Center in Las Vegas, live at 1.30 Eastern on Fox. For Randy Peterson, Kimberly Pressler, and our entire crew, I'm John Fanta. Congratulations to Kayla Starr. And a congratulations to Ernesto Reynoso, clutch as can be.